Have you ever wondered what the top 10 must-visit places in the Netherlands are in 2024? Well, buckle up, because we're taking a virtual trip straight into the heart of Dutch culture. Welcome, fellow travelers, to our exploration of the Netherlands, a land of windmills, tulips, and some of the most fascinating destinations on the globe. We've got a packed itinerary brimming with both the iconic and the undiscovered. We'll be exploring the Netherlands from Amsterdam, the beating heart of the country, to the lesser known gems tucked away in its corners. Each destination on our list is a story, a piece of the vibrant Dutch tapestry waiting to be unraveled. So whether you're an art enthusiast, a history buff, or someone who's just in it for the cheese, we've got something for you. So. Grab your clogs and your tulip bulbs and prepare for a Dutch adventure like no other. Before we dive deeper into the heart of the Netherlands, we'd like to remind you that this isn't just a journey for us, it's a journey for all of us. If you're enjoying this virtual trip so far, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more exciting travel content. We're always exploring new destinations and we'd love for you to join us. And hey, we're very interested in hearing from you. Drop a comment below and tell us which Dutch city you're most excited to visit. Are you eager to take a bike ride through the bustling streets of Amsterdam? Or maybe you're looking forward to the architectural wonders of Rotterdam? Let us know. Your input helps us shape our future adventures. Now, let's get back on the road and head to our first stop, the heart of the Netherlands. Starting off our list, Amsterdam, a city so popular, even the pigeons have a waiting list. This bustling metropolis is a cornucopia of culture, history, and charm. In 2024, the Rijksmuseum remains an unmissable attraction. It's a treasure trove of Dutch art and history, home to masterpieces from the likes of Rembrandt and Vermeer. Just a short bike ride away, you'll find the Anne Frank House. This poignant landmark offers a deeply moving look into the life of the young diarist during World War II. But the city isn't just about the past. Embracing a greener future, Amsterdam now offers eco-friendly canal tours. Imagine gliding through the city's iconic waterways on a solar-powered boat, the wind in your hair, the sun on your face. So, pack your bags, and don't forget your cycling helmet. Remember, in Amsterdam, the best way to fit in is to bike like you've never biked before. Next up, we're off to Rotterdam, where even the buildings are trying to outdo each other in a game of who's the tallest. The city skyline is a playground for architects, with no two buildings looking alike. Take the cube houses, for example. Picture a regular house, then tilt it 45 degrees, and you've got it. It's like someone played a game of Tetris and forgot to stop. And then there's the Erasmus Bridge, gracefully spanning over the Moss River. It's not just a bridge, it's a statement, a symbol of the city's resilience and forward-thinking spirit. But wait, there's more. The city's latest addition, the architectural marvel of 2024, is set to steal the limelight. It promises to be a game changer, redefining the city's skyline yet again. If you're an architecture fan, Rotterdam is like being a kid in a candy store, except the candy is concrete and steel. Moving on, we're headed to The Hague, where the only crimes committed are against fashion. Now, don't let that joke fool you. The Hague's reputation as the International City of Peace and Justice isn't just a fancy title. It's home to the Peace Palace, a symbol of global peacekeeping efforts, housing the International Court of Justice and the Permanent Court of Arbitration. A stone's throw away, you'll find the Moritzhuis. This 17th century mansion turned art museum houses masterpieces from Dutch and Flemish masters, including Vermeer's Girl with a Pearl Earring. Who knew pearls could cause such a stir? And as the sun sets, The Hague doesn't just go to sleep. No. No. The city's vibrant nightlife comes alive. From cozy pubs to high-energy nightclubs, there's a spot for every night owl. So whether you're a fan of international law or international loggers, The Hague has something for everyone. The Hague, where international diplomacy meets Dutch hospitality. Next, we're sneaking into Utrecht, the city that's been playing hide-and-seek with tourists for years. Now, Utrecht isn't just a university town. It's a place where history and vibrancy coexist beautifully. Right in the heart of the city, you'll find the Dom Tower, a towering masterpiece that's been standing tall for over six centuries. With a climb of 465 steps, 
you're virtually stepping into the past, one step at a time. Then there are the canals. Unlike the rest of the Netherlands, Utrecht's canals have a unique two-level structure, which once served as a medieval dock. It's like stepping into a time machine, minus the jet lag. And let's not forget the city's music scene. From jazz festivals to pop concerts, Utrecht dances to its own rhythm. It's a symphony of vibrant beats and harmonious melodies echoing through the city streets. Utrecht, it's like the Netherlands' best-kept secret, but don't tell anyone we told you. Onward to Delft, the city that's so royal, even the pigeons walk with a strut. Now speaking of royal, let's not forget the Royal Delft Factory, where the iconic blue and white pottery is meticulously crafted. It's not just a factory, it's a testament to centuries-old artistry, a place where every piece tells a story wrapped in cobalt blue. And while we're on the topic of art, meander over to the Vermeer Center, a tribute to the master of light and shadow, Johannes Vermeer. It's not just a museum, it's a journey through the artist's life, a chance to see the world through Vermeer's eyes. But it's not all about museums and factories. Delft is a picturesque city where cobblestone streets wind their way past charming canals and Gothic churches, where every corner, every alley is a nod to its rich history. Delft, where every street feels like a stroll through a Vermeer painting. Now, we're off to Maastricht, the city that's so far south it's practically Belgian. This charming city is home to the Vrijthof, a lively square surrounded by historical buildings, cafes, and a vibe that's pure joy. But don't let the hustle and bustle fool you. Maastricht has a secret, a labyrinth of caves beneath the St. Petersburg Hill. These caves bear witness to centuries of history, offering a literal journey into the past. And let's not forget the food. Maastricht's culinary scene is a melting pot of tastes, with Dutch, French, and German influences. Here, you'll find everything from traditional Dutch pancakes to French pastries, all served with a side of German beer. The city's food culture is as diverse as its people, and every bite tells a story of unity and diversity. Maastricht, where the Dutch, French, and German cultures meet for a cup of coffee. So, when are you booking your ticket to this Southern Belle? Next, we're rolling into Gouda, the city that's so cheesy, even the mice have high cholesterol. When you think of Gouda, your mind probably races to the creamy nutty cheese that's a staple in any respectable charcuterie board. But Gouda is far more than just a cheese lover's paradise. It's a city that's rich in history and culture. One of the city's must-visit spots is the Gouda Cheese Market, a place where time seems to stand still and cheese wheels are still traded as they were hundreds of years ago. And then there's the Gouda City Hall, a stunning Gothic structure that seems to have leaped straight out of a fairy tale. But the city's crowning glory has to be the Sint Janskirk. Known for its breathtaking stained glass windows, this church is a testament to the city's artistic prowess. Each window tells a different story, each more captivating than the last. Gouda, it's not just a cheese, it's a way of life. Let's paddle over to Gitorn, the village that decided roads were too mainstream. This idyllic hamlet, nestled in the heart of the Netherlands, has traded in asphalt for water, cars for boats. Here, the whisper of the wind, the rustle of leaves, and the subtle lap of water against the boat form the symphony of everyday life. The village is a dreamscape of charming thatched roof homes, strung together like pearls on the necklace of beautiful canals. These waterways are the lifeblood of Gitorn a testament to the Dutch knack for living harmoniously with water. The peaceful ambiance is an inviting embrace, a serene escape from the hustle and bustle of city life. Here, the pace is unhurried, the people friendly, the air pure, and the sights simply enchanting. And the best part? The only traffic jams in Githorn are caused by ducks. So if you're seeking tranquility steeped in rustic charm, remember Githorn, where the only traffic jams are caused by ducks. Finally, we're off to Efteling, the theme park where fairy tales come to life and adults turn into kids. Efteling is a magical realm filled with enchanting adventures. It's a place where you can ride a dragon, visit an enchanted forest, and even meet a fairy or two. This isn't just any forest, it's a place where trees whisper secrets and mythical creatures hide in the shadows. The magic continues with the park's rides. Each one is a story waiting to unfold. From thrilling roller coasters that take you on a dragon's flight to peaceful boat rides through a world of dreams, 
Efteling's rides are more than just fun, they're an experience. But it's not all about the rides. Efteling also hosts spellbinding shows that bring fairy tales to life right before your eyes. From fire-breathing dragons to dancing water fountains, these shows are sure to leave you spellbound. Efteling, where happily ever after, is not just a phrase, it's a promise. Well, that's it folks. We've cycled, sailed, and eaten our way through the top 10 must-visit places in the Netherlands in 2024. From the heart of the country in Amsterdam, to the architectural marvel that is Rotterdam, we've seen it all. We've wandered through the international city of peace and justice, The Hague, and discovered the hidden treasure of Utrecht. Our journey took us to the royal city of Delft and the southern bell, Maastricht. And who could forget the cheesy city of Gouda or the Venice of the north, Geithorn? Finally, we wrapped up our fairy tale fantasy in Efteling. As we say our goodbyes, we want to extend our heartfelt thanks for joining us on this journey. If you loved this adventure as much as we did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more exciting explorations. Remember, the Netherlands is always just a bike ride away. So keep exploring and stay cheesy. Well, we've come to the end of our Dutch journey and what a ride it's been. We've cycled through the heart of the Netherlands, sailed through the canals of Gietorn and tasted the famous cheese of Gouda. We've marveled at the modern architecture of Rotterdam, wandered the peaceful streets of The Hague, and discovered the hidden treasures of Utrecht. We've been royally entertained in Delft, charmed by the Southern Belle, Maastricht, and lived out a fairy tale fantasy in Efteling. But now, we want to hear from you. What was your favorite part of this video? Was it the charm of Amsterdam's canals? The towering windmills in Rotterdam? the tranquility of The Hague, or perhaps the taste of that delicious Gouda cheese? Or maybe you're ready to pack your bags for a fairy tale adventure in Efteling. We're eager to hear your thoughts. So which Dutch delight has caught your fancy? Drop us a comment below. And remember, the journey doesn't stop here. We've got many more adventures to come, so stay tuned, stay cheesy, and keep exploring.